Welcome to CO3 Beer Showdown. Today, I've got two secret machine beers from Dewey Beer Company. Let's see which one's best. So Dewey Beer Company, I don't know that I've ever had a beer from them. Maybe a collaboration here or there, but I don't think I've ever had anything from them directly. And Secret Machine, definitely never had anything from that. So the first one we've got here is Pomegranate Cranberry Strawberry Muffin. And it's 7%. So both these are sours. I'm loving the flavors here. Strawberry is the only one that scares me. A lot of times in, in beer, strawberry just doesn't do it for me. But strawberry muffin, maybe that'll do, do well. Oh wow, get a lot of sugar. A lot of that sweetness coming through. I think pomegranate. Oh no, that's cranberry. Definitely cranberry. Man. So off the bat, the strawberry is is making me not love it, but the flavors are all there. You definitely get cranberry. I taste some pomegranate juice too. And the sugar, like the sugar on top of the muffin. I definitely get those flavors. So it's really cool they were able to hit those flavors. It's really just the strawberry that's uh, that's just not really doing it for me. I don't know, for some reason in beers, I love eating strawberries and I love strawberry flavored things, but for some reason in beers, I just don't like it. I don't know why. Dewey Beer Company though, they're out of Delaware and it's really exciting when, when I can get a new brewery on this on this channel. So. Let's go to the next one. This is Baked Alaska. Pistachio, chocolate, raspberry, vanilla. And it's 7%. Guys, this sounds exciting. I, I expect it... Oh, I was going to say I expect it to be thicker. There is pulp just floating around in there. Hopefully that doesn't ruin the experience. Smells incredible. Man... I just smell like gelato. I don't know what flavor I'm smelling. Maybe the pistachio, but just... Hmm. The flavors just kind of all go together. Let's see if I keep drinking here and get some, some different flavors to separate. Raspberry. Definitely got the raspberry. Hmm. Okay, there's some chocolate. The other positive, all the stuff I see floating in there, I don't feel it. I don't taste it, so that's good. Definitely interesting. There's some fun elements there. For me, I think the problem is... The flavors just kind of overlap. I don't get a, a big punch of a flavor. I don't taste the chocolate big time. I don't taste the raspberry, even though I do taste raspberry the most, probably. And vanilla, you know, maybe you get a little bit of a vanilla ice cream feel. Pistachio, though, I really don't taste at all, which you'd think you'd get a little bit more of that. Okay. But definitely... Getting like an ice cream gelato kind of feel, which is cool. Let's go back to this one. All right, who's the winner? I think for me today, the winner is going to be the Baked Alaska. On this side, it really came down to that strawberry. Personally, not a huge fan of it in beers. And on this side, with the win, it's kind of just a really fun, melted ice cream gelato experience, which you don't get that a lot in beers, so it comes through. I really expected these to maybe be a little bit thicker, giving a little more substance to them, but overall, it was really fun to try a new brewery, Dewey Beer. Uh, we actually, we actually picked up a whole bunch of beers from them, so super excited to you know try some more. 
I'm uh, I, I don't I'm not in love with either of these, but still fun, exciting, and can't wait to try some more beers from Dewey. All right, guys, that was my first experience with Dewey Dewey Beer Company. Good beers, tasty, fun. Personally, the flavors didn't come through for me. Um, let me know down in the comments uh, if you've had Dewey and what you thought of them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.